Hello children, welcome to another story time. So today we're looking for pets. Come along and see what this little boy finds in the pet shop. The Great Pet Sale by Mick Ingpen Everything must go, said the sign on the pet shop window. In the window was a rat. I looked at him. Half of his whiskers were missing. I'm a bargain, called the rat through the glass. I'm only one P. Choose me. Inside the shop, there was a tiny terrapin for two pence, a turtle for three pence, and a tortoise, a great big one, for four pence. I'm sure you wouldn't like one of those, said the rat. But you'd like me. You really would. On the perch were things beginning with P. A pelican. A puffin. A penguin. A parrot. And a platypus. All five pence each. Oh, you don't want anything beginning with P, said the rat. Ah, R is what you want. R for ratty. Behind a plastic rock was a salamander for six pence, a skink for seven pence, and a gecko for eight pence. Which one is which? I said. Nobody knows. Nobody cares, said the rat. Sausages on legs. You don't want one of those. The next two animals were nine p the pair. Who wants a koala that doesn't like leaves? Said the rat. Or an anteater that won't eat its ant? I'm not fussy. I'll eat anything. In the cardboard box were assorted little brown creatures, ten pence the lot. Boring, boring, boring," said the rat. "I'm not boring. Look, I can stand on one leg," and it did. At the back of the shop, we came to a big door. "What's in there?" I said. "Oh, just a dragon," said the rat. There's no such thing," I said. "Then you won't want one, will you?" said the rat. I opened the door. It was a dragon, a great big Komodo dragon, for twenty-five pence. At last, the rat was quiet. "You're not going to choose me, are you?" it said sadly. "Shh," I said. I've made up my mind. I counted my money, one pound exactly. It was just enough to buy the rat and everything else in the shop. The end. Did you enjoy that story, children? Count up your pocket money, and let me know which pet could you buy. I'll see you next time for another story time. Take care. Bye bye.